Good morning, guys. So we're on our way to go do some grocery shopping. We're on our errands. Actually, something else that I wanted to add to our list too, I wanna go get a new 2020 planner because I am having a heck of a time trying to keep all of our stuff together without my planner. And I, like, I even like tried to make my own in, in a notebook, like like draw it out, and it's not. That sounds like a waste of time. <laughs> it's not working. You can just buy one. Yeah, I know. So I need to get I need to get a calendar and a new desktop calendar for work too, because that's how I keep track of like all of my work and like personal stuff. So if you guys want to see like a planning video, let me know. You guys have asked me in the past actually um, if I would like show you guys how I financially like plan, how I budget, um, and then how I balance everything. Honestly, the key to my quote unquote success or like making it look easy, quote unquote easy, is by using um, is by using a planner because if I don't use if I don't like have a planner my life would be in shambles and I'm one of those people like I like to like write things out I like to have all like the nice pens and things like that like write it out I can't just like put everything on my phone and call it good um, I have to like physically write it and and see it I don't know it's it's a weird like brain process that I have but Anyways, need to get planners. I went on a tangent there. I need to get planners, or a planner, and then my desktop planner. Um, we're gonna go get some groceries, and we still are on this health kick. Um, I, I call it a health kick. It's well, because I've lost four pounds now. It's not a health kick. I suppose we're not really changing the way that we're eating, though. We've always eaten healthy. We're just, we're trying we're to limiting, find. We're limiting our. Yeah, limiting cheat days. Cheat days. I would call it like that. Just call it like limiting our our YOLO meals. <laughs> yeah, that's what they are. Because it's not a cheat day. We have like a cheap meal. It's not a ton. Or like um, like limiting, beer. Limiting the like Mike has yeah. cut out. This is like huge for us. Like Mike and I really like like dark beers. Mike will have like a dark like porter with like a beer like every night. And we've cut. Yeah, and they're heavy, and he's like, he's cut like beer out now, and then we also, um, like we switched him over to Apothic Red, which he likes red wine. Um, so at Costco, that's where we usually get like our meat and our vegetables. We should also see if they have those foam mat squares. They might have those there for cheaper. We're trying to make a home gym today too, so stay tuned. All the things today, okay, see you at Costco. <laughs> I'm coming. What are those? Apple iPad? Come on. My iPad. Yo yo, let's go. Kaya. Kaya. Oh, that's the same iPad. We gotta go get some snacks. 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 Look at the Oh, is that where we're going? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. In two weeks, we're gonna go to Disney World. Okay, so we're sitting at the home gym today. But Mike wants to get a total gym like this. I want to get this. But each are like, this is 230. This one is 300. Mike is getting wine right now <laughs> as I'm looking at these. But um, I have the elliptical at home. And then I wanted to get, oh, here we go. I should look over here. I wanted to get like foam mats. Maybe they would have something over here. I need to look. but. Um, so we're considering this and we're also considering this. Mike really wants this guy right here. Riker. Hi. <gasps> boo. Uh, boo. Uh, boo. Hi. <laughs> always a go to the rotisserie chickens because they're 4 dollars Don't touch them, they're hot. I always grab one even though I don't know what I'm going to do with it because it's just so cheap. Another go-to of mine is the Caesar salad, especially like if I'm having guests over. The cob is really good too. I'm not like super huge on blue cheese, but that's super yummy. The stuffed peppers are really good for a pre-made meal. Actually, I might grab one. Um, the chicken street tacos are also a go-to of mine. I always get these when my sister comes over and they feed like seriously like 10 people and they're only $15. Super cheap and really good. The cilantro lime crema is the bomb. Another go-to of mine is the chicken thigh pack. Six meals for $10. Also a go-to of ours is the Dynamic Duo. 539, we've got tomatoes. Um, and then if we're gonna get like regular potatoes like if we're having guests over and stuff, this is what we get. But typically our go-to is just these guys. Ooh. 
he he goes, well, I got my guys there doing uh, toilet paper, paper towels. Our go-to is always Costco. It's always the cheapest here. Another go-to is the bacon, which is $13.99 for a four pack. And for the cauliflower, no way. No way, pup, no way. Also uh, got these quart freezer bags. Hey, guys. That's right, look at, there's 216 of them total for $10. They're on sale today. What? Uh, two and a half. Two and a half. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. This is typically a go-to of ours as well. I'm not gonna get them today, but I just wanted to show you guys. This is the cauliflower crust pizza, twelve seventy-nine for a two-pack, and this is super bomb as well. Noodles, huh? But we don't need noodles. We're good. So this is one of our favorites, and they don't always like have it in stock. Um, it's five ninety-nine for a jar of salsa. I got two of them because they are our ultimate favorite. Like I said, they're not always in stock. These are super good too, and these are on sale for three dollars off, so they're six ninety nine. What did you say? I like my boy. She just said, "I don't want a a girl baby. I just want my baby brother." Yeah. Like I keep saying at the pop brand. So this is another go-to when we come. We usually get, there's like a better type of tortilla chip, bread. but they're like completely out. Yeah. Um, and then here's another go-to that we hey, get. Mom, Mom, can I show you the video? Hang on. Okay. And this was Kaya's choice. It's frozen Greek yogurt, like mint chocolate chip bars. This was like $9.99 for a 15 pack. Hey, Mom, can I touch my fin? <laughs> I don't think so. Yeah. No way. I don't think Daddy would let that happen. I no would. way. <laughs> You're crazy. I was a boyfriend. What? No way. Why? Cause you're too little. Why? You're I, too it's, little. Well, it's fine that I can be a little for a big brother. You're a, crazy. Uh, oh, um, what's again? What did I say again? I don't know. Hey, where are we? We're waiting for Mike, waiting for Mike to come back. But this is typically what our cart looks like. Have the funny pot channel. Just wait. Mike is still picking out nuts. He's still in the nut section. <laughs> we have an entirely full load. You ready? Yeah. Let's go. Let's get out of here. Riker, you're such a good boy. Hi. He's gonna be soaking up the vitamin D. Starbucks drink of choice today was a venti hot Americano. Actually, I asked for iced. Mike got me a hot one, but that's fine because the air temp, the air temp is negative seven degrees. The real feel is probably like negative 16-ish, that's my guess. Anyway, um, venti Americano with two pumps of sugar-free vanilla and heavy cream, and this has like zero carbs. I think it's like 150 calories for a venti. So we're still in that health mode. I'm like really trying not to be as lumpy for Florida. Um, I had two sausage links this morning for breakfast and then for lunch I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna have yet. If anybody wants to know what it looks like in Minnesota um, for snow, there you go. So much snow. No, that's not anything underneath those hills it's just snow no, 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 this is what it looks like so many of you ask like what it's like to live where it's snowy and I mean like these are like banks of snow like all the way up is that crazy we just got a ton of snow like a weekish ago it was on the 30th actually I think we've gotten a total of like four or five feet of snow it's crazy we're running out of room to like put it because usually would like they'll like pile it up um, like in parking lots and stuff but they're having to like take it away now because 
there's just that much snow. Isn't that crazy? Look at all of it. That's all flat, usually. This doesn't even do it justice, but it's a lot, a lot, a lot of snow, guys. Okay, so Riker just turned two, or two, <laughs> 11 months on Tuesday, and um, we are probably gonna have like one more thing of formula um, and then be done. Um, we usually, like with Kaya, we like cold turkey it and did like, um, almond milk, and I don't know why I'm so hesitant this time to do almond milk with him, but, um, typically that's what we do because they're getting all of their, like our pediatrician says they're getting all of their, like, nutrients from the food that they're eating at that point, um, but anyways, I, I think actually, this is gonna shock you guys, I am like totally against whole milk, but, um, I think just for like the beginning, for the first few months, I'm going to do whole milk and then transition him into almond milk from there. Um, just so that he has a few extra months of like a really full, like fatty milk. Um, I don't know. I know I'm going to get some judgment, some hate for that, but we're going to do whole milk, um, for the first few months until he's about a year and a half. Anyway, so by the time he's 12 months, I'm going to start slowly introducing him to um, dairy milk with the um, approval from our pediatrician. She just to like slowly, like two ounces at a time, like start mixing it in. And then by the time he's 12 months, we can just cold turkey him and, well not cold turkey I suppose, because well, we have been like weaning him, but um, we'll do um, whole milk, like all whole milk from there forward. But for the most part, he is still getting um, the Gentle Ease formula. Um, this has been our favorite. We've used the Gentle Ease Neuro Pro and then the, also just like the plain Gentle Ease. Great, great formula. We absolutely love it. We've had zero issues. Um, and we like went straight to the Gentle just because like, why not? But, um, and then these are the sippies that we're gonna start transitioning, transitioning him over to. Um, so we've got this one. Um, this is actually one of Kaya's. Um, it's one of the newbie ones, but it's just like a different style um, of sippy. So I've got a few. And then also this guy back here, which I'm sure you guys have seen in my other videos. This is a munchkin, like spill proof, um, like nippleless um, sippy. So the water just like comes up through like the water or through like the holes in here. But this is what we've been putting as water in. Um, but these are the three I'm going to start introducing him to. Whichever one that he likes the most, I will purchase more of. But that's kind of how I go through the sippies um, stage is I introduce him to like a few different ones and then the um, fan favorite is what we will stock up on. So Anyways, yeah, these are awesome. Also, if you're peeping this little itsy ritzy snack bag in the back, this is thebomb.com for, oops, I'm throwing things at you. Um, this is the best for like any kind of random snackages and things like that, so yeah. Okay, so let's do one more overview with you guys. I got these baby tiny, they're called cocktail tomatoes. Um, I got these tomatoes this time because I didn't want to get like a giant thing of Romas. So I got tomatoes. I got some eggs. Again, all of the snackages for Kaya. Blueberry. Yep. Blueberries. And raspberries and strawberries my favorite. <laughs> you got it. Um, she already dug into her ice cream bar. Don't worry guys. It's it's past noon at least. <laughs> um, and we put my ice cream in the fridge. Yes, we did. Look at the mess behind. Oh my gosh, anxiety. It's making my anxiety go up. Um, okay, so raspberries. We've got apple chips, strawberries. These are all snackages for the kids. Um, don't worry, guys. I always cut these up before I give them to Riker. Over here, rotisserie chicken. And then we've got um, skinny pop. Um, tortilla chips again we usually get um, I think it's like good earth or something brand but they've been missing for like the past month at Costco it's super weird um, and that they have like flax seeds and like it's multi-grain and like just super healthy gluten-free awesome awesome chips but we had to go with these ones this time um, I feel like if you're gonna get chips tortilla chips aren't the worst thing in the world plus we're gonna be watching the football game today and I'm sure Mike's gonna want some chips and salsa um, more snacks for the kids. We got mandarin oranges. Um, so this is a new thing. I don't think I showed you guys this. This is a new thing and I almost put it back. It's called, um, it's the organic almond dip bitchin sauce, chipotle flavor. 
The reviews are really bad. I got this for like eight, seven ninety nine, eight ninety nine at Costco. It's like a big container. It's like a sour cream size container. Um, but the reviews were really, really bad when I looked at them on Amazon and um, like Walmart. But when I asked, or when I told the cash register that I was gonna put this back, she's like, are you serious? Like everybody here loves this stuff. It's kind of spicy, but it is like a five star rated review. They were like raving about it. So this better be awesome or I'm gonna be mad. No, I'm not gonna be mad, I'm just kidding. The girl, the girl was super sweet, was like, you can return it and get a refund if you don't like it, but I promise you, you're gonna love it. I had Kaya pick out a soup for lunch. Um, this was $7.99 for a two pack, and I tried to give you guys like prices today. We spent about two, um, anyways, I've been using my like Thieves essential oil like blend. I, you guys saw, I made a video on it like a couple months ago, like right after I made it, but I'll leave the Pinterest recipe down below for this, um, but this is super effective at like, cleaning all the germs and the viruses and stuff even more effective than like mrs myers which was shocking to me so anyways i use this to clean up my fridge it's a little bit more green and it smells kind of like a potpourri it smells really good but anyway so nice and shiny in here and i have everything all laid out like i said we are going to try transition Riker slowly but surely over to whole milk so that's why we have milk we typically don't in the house but anyway so something I wanted to point out is right here in this fruits drawer, it switched over to vegetables because Kaya likes to mess with the sweaters. Um, I like to have all of like our oranges out of the like mesh bag because Kaya will just like come in here, grab an orange and be on her merry way. So and if we have these just out in the open and ready for her to grab, she's less likely to grab any like junky stuff, especially if we keep the junky stuff out of the house. So this is really nice. Um, and then I also put all of like the other fruit that I need to cut up um, back here. But yeah, super nice and shiny and clean. Up here also this bitchin sauce, I did just try a tortilla chip with it and it is so good it's super super good I'm shocked that it's made from almonds and I don't know why it has such bad reviews on Amazon like I know it's kind of expensive but if you get it at Costco it's a better price but yeah this is super bomb would be really good in like a burrito bowl or like on tacos I mean essentially everything that we eat in the house because all we eat is like Mexican food but super yummy Okay guys, I was just gonna start editing this vlog and I realized it's going to be so long if I don't break it up. So I'm going to end the vlog here after that Costco haul and then I will continue our vlog from there. Um, in tomorrow's video, I'm doing like lots of videos to kind of get caught up. I told you guys that I had like lots of plans like throughout the month of January. So expect a video on my channel on Tuesday. I'm gonna upload this one this evening. Um, expect a video on Tuesday and then on Thursday and then we're back to our normal schedule after all the holiday craziness. So. I hope you enjoyed this like walk through Costco and like price out your groceries with me. It was something that I really wanted to do like to show you guys exactly how much it costs um, to feed our family. That will honestly, with what's already in the fridge and freezer, mind you, um, that will feed our family for the next like two and a half weeks until we leave for Florida, which was my goal. Um, I went on the Walmart grocery app this morning and almost ordered a few extra things. I don't know about you guys, sometimes I'm just like, oh, it would be nice to have this, it would be nice to have this, and I have to stop myself at some point and say, no, nope, I can make plenty of good, healthy meals with the things that I have on hand, so I stopped myself and I said, no, I'm just gonna save a few dollars, use what's already in the house, use it all up, and then buy once like we're out of everything, or we have like a few pieces for a meal, but not exactly an entire meal, that's when I will stop, and then I will order like just some fill-in stuff from Walmart Grocery, but, Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for like all of the cooking clean with me's that I have planned um, because I will be showing you guys some of the meals that I eat with um, the groceries that I got. And I will also be doing a weight loss update because I am down, officially this morning, I'm down 5.5 pounds in the past eight days. So this is working. My routine that I am doing is working and I'm very happy with it. So stay tuned for all the fun things coming up. 
subscribe to my channel before you leave leave a comment down below with any video suggestions that you have I do this once a month and I ask you guys for video suggestions on my YouTube and also over on my Instagram so make sure you leave your requests down below I know it's mostly going to be vlogs I know I know I know you guys love the vlogs say say K whatever mm. I still need my coffee. It's still early in the morning. I'll see you guys on Tuesday. Okay, bye guys.